So do you guys want a fast and easy method in earning levels in this game? Well, that's what I bring you today, guys. So earning XP in Hogwarts Legacy is a must to level up. And today I bring you an ins incredible method, an insane method to earn roughly 2000 XP in minutes. There's no other quicker way in this game to earn this XP. It is limited to that as far as I'm aware. There may be a way around this, you guys tell me. But as far as I'm aware, guys, it's roughly 2000 XP you can earn this super, super fast. You don't have to fight any enemies or anything like that. It's it's just crazy. Now, but now have your attention, guys. If you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps me out. If you like what you see and want to see more Hogwarts Legacy on a daily basis, make sure you subscribe and turn those notifications on. Okay, so to do this, guys, you need to have completed a quest, one of the main story quests called the Elf, the Nabsack, and the Loom, because you need the Nabsack so you can capture those beasts. Now, this is around the 30 to 35th main quest story mission. It may be a little less than that, but I've done so many in between. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing here. I've done this when I was about a level 13 or 14 so around that level guys you should have a look out for the elf the knapsack and the loom once you do this you uh gain the ability to capture those magical beasts so yes uh, get to that point though guys then come back to this and you'll be able to use and abuse this and get that easy xp okay so how it works it's quite simple make sure you have your knapsack applied to your um spell diamond i can see mine's right there and all you need to do, guys, is come to this free flame. Let's pull up my map. And we're going to go and capture these little magical beasts. Now, it's a way of doing this. So you can make them respawn. And you can farm them over and over. Um, but yes, this is where you want to come to. You want to come and get these the puff skin. Are they, does that say puff skin? Puff skin den. Because there's about eight here. You can capture them in seconds. You get 30 XP per each one. Um, again, it's limited to, I believe, 60 you can capture. And then you stop earning XP after that. Like I said, there may be a right way around this. I'm not sure. But hey, the flu uh, flame you want to come to is the Forbidden Forest one right here. As you can see. So come to your world map and come to there. So travel to here. And we're just going to mark this part on the map right there. Oh, look at that dragon. Okay, so I'll show you how I come to the conclusion as well. You can only do 60 times. Come to your challenges. Come to the room requirement. And you can see here. It says rescue beast, rescue 10, then you have to rescue another 20, then you have to rescue another 30. Uh, so there's 60 in total, I believe you can get this for. There's 30 XP per one, so 60 times 30, what's that, 1800? Roughly two grand. You'll probably do things in between as well, earning more XP. Okay, so now we've marked on the map where we want to go. I'll show you how you do this, how you farm these, and how you can make them respawn. So just pull out your broom and just flow over there. All your mounds, whatever you got, people, all run, use your legs. Now, it's just quite easy. I'm just going to quickly run you through this. I mean, you when you get this down, it's so, so quick. So you can see the dens right there. You can see all the little fair balls right there. Simply just drop down here. I use my um, thingy spell here. You don't have to. The disillusionment spell. You don't have to. It doesn't really make much of a difference. So I just pop that. Then just come up to these and capture them. Now, I ain't going to capture all these uh, because I just want to make the video efficient and easy, but simple. Just drop your, yeah, your bees capture bag on them and you, you, you're done. You see, I ain't actually earning any XP, but I'll show you a clip on screen now of me doing this and uh, earning that XP 30 per one. Uh, so I'm capturing all these guys. And as you can see, I'll speed this up because otherwise, yeah, I just want to make this video efficient as you do. Okay, so as you can see from right here, all you need to do, guys, is pull out your broom. This is how you make them respawn, by the way. Pull out your broom. Follow it over this way. You see this like, farm there. Simple as this, guys. I've tr tried to figure this out for ages, but I got it to work. Um, just drop the broom here. Go into your thingy. Click on the map. Press in your right thumbstick. You just want to wait. Turn it to night. Or turn it to day if you're at night already. And then you want to go back into it and change it again. And this somehow it's like a full day cycle. And these little these little critters, they respawn. And it really is that simple, guys. And you can do this. Um rinse repeat this until you've captured all 60 of these beasts. And it will you do this in no time at all, guys. I really mean it's so so quick. 
so you can see here let's pull back out my boom go back and show you guys that they have all respawned as you can see right there they're all back and it really is that simple guys so yes um now another thing as well what you can do is hello little beasts it's another way of making incredible money too so once you've captured all these you can well your inventory will be full you can do what you want with them you could just release them if you want to or you could go to hogsmeade there's a shop in hogsmeade that buys these beasts off you which is just perfect all because you're just going to make tons of money too so the the brood and peck this is the place you want to go to so let's go to that flu flame right next to it we go there and we can sell these beasts and earn a ton of profit people and we know gold is needed in this game now this is a video i've already uploaded but i for those who didn't see that this is a way to earn tons of money too so let's run over here and you'll i think you get 120 per one so if you've got like i think you can hold when you first able to use a knapsack i think you only have 20 inventory slots to sell but as you progress the game you'll earn way more slots so yeah guys you can sell all these now for 120 each and get super super rich at the same time as earning tons of xp but yes guys there we have it and well i hope you enjoyed the video if you did leaving a like really helps me out if you like what you see and want to see more hogwarts legacy be sure to subscribe if you well, want to join my discord hogwarts uh community talk about the game share your character share your your secret share your build whatever my discord is linked down below but guys thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully i will see you on that next one